Alright, what's up, YouTube and YouTube followers, bro? Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, Linux 12.10 Preview, and it should be out in a few days. It's scheduled to come out October, um, October 13th, 2012, so I'm going to show you a couple of previews and uh, explain a few things. So let's go on to the thing, and I apologize for the video thing, but this is the first time I've ever put my face in one of my videos. And unfortunately, my iPod will not let me take um, flip the camera while playing a, um, while taking a video. So that's how you guys are gonna have to deal with it. All right, let's go. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> this is the computer I'm gonna be running on it. This is my first laptop ever. You know, not one of those rich guys with a MacBook or anything. And this is why I use Linux. It's the next thing, next best thing to to Mac. I mean, it's in my opinion, it's better than Windows. I know Windows lovers and Xbox fans, you're gonna disagree with that and say Linux is worse because obviously Linux runs on the PS3 in a in a certain format. So before I get to that, I just want to show you a quick, um, you know, where the internet's coming from and stuff. And I am gonna be using Direct Connection because this computer does support a Gigaport and I have a Gigaport modem slash router from Verizon Fios and uh, this is probably what it's not going to look for you guys because I do have an extended antenna on it the one down there is the actual size of the antenna you will have and you'll have two of them I am working on getting another one for it though but as you can see I have uh, Gigaports I have a four port switch from Verizon Fios built in their modem and uh, wireless and upgradable to 300 megs per second pretty good deal um, you know, if you are an existing Fios customer, and if you are interested, you can go on and log into your account and uh, buy this router. It was 115 when I grabbed it, but I didn't grab it from them. I did it from eBay. Got a hundred bucks, so you could buy it for them for like six seventy four dollars now. Um, da 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 da. Uh, you probably get it off eBay cheaper now. Pre like not yeah, probably pre-owned because a lot of people get Verizon and end up moving. They can't get it in their new position. All right, so enough with that. So let's um let's uh let's move on to the computer. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Now, this isn't the internet that's slow. Sometimes I have a few issues with this computer. As you can see the screen's falling off, so you know, these are not the best things, but you know, you guys are pretty loyal to my YouTube channel sometimes, so uh just bear with me here. I am working on getting a new laptop, but you know, before I want to get that new laptop, I do really want to get that iPhone 5. Um, cause I currently have an iPhone 3GS, and you know, see it's, it's slightly slow through AT&T. That's another one I want you guys to promote if you uh, are interested in it. AT&T, they do have a superior network to Verizon. Verizon has a better TV uh, company, but uh, AT&T does. So moving on to that, you know, quick boot. We're at this menu now. This is gonna probably be a little bit faster for you guys. Um, so just you know, bear with me. This computer sometimes acts up. You know, like I said, uh, things are all, all messed up. And like I said, I will be using uh, Gigaport Ethernet on this. So this, you know, keep in mind. In my other videos, I use wireless to show how to fix that issue for you guys. And I will demonstrate in this video how to do that in 12.1. So. We can clearly see there's a change already with the um, taskbar. It's clearer, you know, more fluent. Um, and another cool thing is, you know, now freaking finding stuff is way easier. Um, you now you could search for movies right here from YouTube, and your previous searches show up from YouTube right here on the list. So that's a really good bonus. Better integration with Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and all that stuff in the OS system. I mean, like, look at this. I mean, if there's a movie you want to look up, look, I'll type in trans um, for Transformers. Well, it's right there. But And you can see they could buy these on the Ubuntu store, or you could buy them. Well, this is not Ubuntu. Uh, this is um, Amazon. Amazon's built into the OS system now. That's a pretty cool feature. So if you want to buy something, um, go right ahead and you know type it in you can find a little bit they're still working on this feature I, I'd probably give it a 3.5 out of a uh, out of a yeah 3.5 out of 5 
So let's move on. Uh, you know, same old. Now, you know, Thunderbird's not going to be here by default no more. Um, you have to find it in the thing and do it in a Gmail thing. I prefer Thunderbird because it stays on the OS. And like I said, you it better integration. You know, you could have automatic upload. They have this bar, you know, status update. Stuff like that. It's pretty cool, you know. I, I don't remember how I got that on there, but I did. You know, my favorite browser is Chromium. Da -da 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 -da. So, um, let's see. Now, now, if you guys are running an older computer like me, most likely you're having the wireless issue where... And it's not even turning on for me right now. Alright, give it a second. There we go. Some, I, I guess they're still having issues with that. Um, it didn't work right off the bat. You could see for two seconds before, but I had to switch wireless on and switch it off for it to get back in mode. I don't know what's going on with that, but you can see the menus are slimmer. So I will explain to you really quick how to get the um, how to get your Wi-Fi working again if you are a Broadcom um, user, meaning if your wireless chip is made by Broadcom. That's the only one I know how to do. So what you're gonna do really quick is you're gonna as as in my other videos you're gonna go to the Ubuntu store let it load up once again give it give it some time okay so it's there it goes and I, I do apologize for the horrible picture quality in the um in the way the video comes and I know it's gonna probably come in as a strip because the iPod itself I don't know why it does that um but you know as I don't really talk a lot in my videos because um, you know I'm a little embarrassed of my voice. I think it's quite annoying. But um, if you guys want, you know, when I first did the first Ubuntu video, uh, people were always asking me, to, you know, to tell them what to do and help them out on there. I'm really good with some internet features and some issues, you know, trained in Comcast. I mean, not trained in it, but I know a little bit about Comcast, Verizon, FiOS, DirecTV, stuff like that. Um, come to me with any issues, uh, make a request on a comment for a video, um, or, you know, private chat, I'll give you my Gmail number, and you could, uh, possibly call, we could do a, um, computer takeover, or something like that, whatever helps you guys out. Alright, so what you need to do to get the Wi-Fi working again, if you're a Broadcom customer, I mean, if your chip is made by Broadcom, is you're gonna need to get a Synaptic Package Manager, so S y and a p and then it should pop up you need that synaptic package manager and once you install it da, 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 you know you just click on it to install it you know more info and then and then and then so what you're gonna go is it's not i mean it sticks on the taskbar once you install it but it once you restart the computer it'll be gone um, Skype, I had to download that from their website. They did have a Ubuntu version. It was kind of, it was kind of glitchy. So the things are still kind of glitchy. Um, and it's gonna ask you for your password, for, you know, administrator. But most likely, if you installed Ubuntu yourself, you would know your password. And this screen will pop up. And you're gonna want to type in. If you're a Broadcom user, you're gonna want to type in B. 43 and you want the fusion the firmware cutter and whatever one of these packages apply for me it's like my Wi-Fi thing is I'll enlarge this to progress power my Wi-Fi thing is B BCM 4311 now whichever one of these apply for you there's more down here you know legacy for these and these but you have to you have to you could just switch around playing with them and figure out which one, but you definitely need the fusion cutter, and you need one of, looks like only three of these right now, so you need one of these three. Um, and you know, just play around with it if you don't know. If you, you do know, just go right ahead and install it right from the beginning. Alright, so, once you do that, you know, like in the previous times, it, the computer, this is the way I do it, from clean install. When I clean install my computer for Linux, I don't do get additional uh, software drivers or updates. I let the computer run like that because the installation goes faster. And 
you know, there's less issues and it doesn't automatically um, doesn't automatically download that uh, wireless driver, which n is not good at for the computer at all. It doesn't work, and that driver has to be out of the way before you can install, before you can, you know, before the um, will work for the Wi-Fi. Excuse me. So uh, as you can see, it's still glitching out on me a little bit. Um, you know, Thunderbird. You, no, like basically, it's a, like 12.4 with better integration. Uh, my guess is. They did the better integration for iOS 6 reasons on the iPod and iPhone and Macs and all that, and which, which, which I do appreciate. So, uh, you know, I'll show you there is a new thing under settings. You know, I'm not going to give you the complete uh, thing out. I mean, you just go to their website and they tell you this is uh, when, you know, to download it and install it. But I suggest you waiting because I, you know, I thought the same thing is going to be out in a few days. Why not just get it now? Da da da, and see what's new. Well, there, like I said, there's still a few issues. So, like iOS 6, there is some, you know, really cool, like automatic, sh automatic uh, upload on videos. This you can turn on and off. Um, publish, you know, photos from shot well, and then you know, merge IM accounts. Blah de blah blah, and then they have that for Google Plus too. It just says Google, but you know this counts for Gmail, Google Plus, and stuff like that. And then I have my Twitter. Um, if you want, you know, my I'll do Twitter with you guys, but I won't do Facebook because I don't really want a thousand friends or you know friends that I really don't know off the bat. You know, stuff like that. So my Twitter name is Trey Campy or Trey Campy. I'll look up one of those two. Um, it, all that information should be under my YouTube channel and stuff like that. So I'm going to load up Chromium. I am going to load up Chromium because I like this better. I have my uh, Windows coming up in it. Like I said, it's a little slow. You know, the video I only have five, 250, um, 250, um, 256 megs of um, memory. So it's it's gonna be a little bit slow, but trust me, this the you know the internet's the internet's not slow. This is the and uh, this is the, the second most cheapest plan with Verizon. But you know, look what I get. I got five fifteen, meaning I got five megs. I mean, I got fifteen megs of downloadable bandwidth down and five up. And you know, I get more than what I promised on a speed test. Sometimes it's a little jittery. Sometimes it's not. But what the hell? Um, so I will show you a quick speed test on that. Um, it's, you know, it's not the internet, it's the computer, and I am working on getting a new one. I mean, you know, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow with this computer, I don't know. 